What's up everybody, it's La Muerte Blanca and we are back for another Borderlands 3 character build video. This time around we're going back to everybody's favorite robot, Flak, with his immortal build. The reason why I call this the immortal build is because this build is all about health regen, keeping yourself alive, using your pet to keep yourself alive. This is going to be a great build for true Vault Hunter mode or that end game content when you start to raise the difficulty level and a lot of that attack that's coming from the enemy is just too overwhelming. Well with this build, you you won't even have to worry about that because you're going to be keeping yourself alive no questions asked to the point where you might as well be immortal as you can see here the stalker tree is where we have a lot of our skill points because the stalker tree has a lot of the survivability skills that you would want reflect so even if you don't go for this build but you do want to add some perks here and there to your own build where you will be able to increase your survivability the stalker tree is definitely the place that you want to start at we start at self-repairing system flax maximum health is increased and they constantly regenerate health I love this skill. Usually you don't see a lot of skills that do health regen and max health buff. So the fact that those two are combined, I think is great. We went five points in self-repairing system, which opens up the next line and we go straight into all my BFFs. Allies share a portion of Flax total health regeneration. Flax pet shares twice the amount of health regeneration. So if you are doing a co-op build or if you want to add a perk here and there, that's really going to help benefit your pet. All my BFFs is the way to go. And as you increase your health regeneration with self-repairing system and some of the other skills that we're about to talk about, All My BFS allows your team to get that increased health generation on top of it. 50% of your health regen is going to all your teammates. So if you got a group of three friends or if you just wanna be really nice to the randoms that you just jumped into a party with, this is going to be an excellent perk to help keep not only yourself alive, but the entire team as well. Then we slide over to Eager to Impress. It's a kill skill. Whenever Flak kills an enemy, action skill cooldown time is reduced. Whenever Flak's pet kills an enemy, action skill cooldown time is reduced even more and attack commands cooldown is refreshed. How does this keep us alive? This is just about action skill cooldown time. That has nothing to do with health regen. It has nothing to do with max health. This is gonna be a huge perk once we start talking about our action skill that we decide to choose for this build as well as the different augments that we're gonna have to upgrade that skill. Well, we're gonna hold on to eager to impress but know that this will have an impact on our immortality build. Lick the wounds. When Flak is in fight for your life, their pet will attempt to revive them. So if you're playing solo, if you are playing with a bunch of friends that just want to be jerks, or if you're playing with a bunch of randoms that care more about loot than keeping their team alive, then you have your pet who's watching your back. There's a lot of times when you get in a fight for your life and you cannot finish off the enemy because they're either too strong or because they're hiding behind some type of barrier and you can't get those shots in, then have your pet run over lick the wounds, you get back up, you're good to go. This skill is essentially a fail safe if for whatever reason, all of the other survivability perks that we have locked in aren't doing what they need to do. Then we use turn tail and run. While moving, flat constantly regenerates health and gains damage reduction. While still, flat gains gun damage and fire rate. So this is a great offensive defensive skill, depending on how you're gonna play it. The way we're gonna use it with this build is you should be constantly moving anyway because you're trying to dodge those incoming bullets, those incoming projectiles. And the more you move, you not only get damage reduction, but you're also getting health regen. Health regen that's going to be stacking with self-repairing system. Health regen that when stacked with self-repairing system is all increasing the amount of regen that you're giving both your pet as well as your allies. Another way to keep yourself alive. So then once we get to this line, we open up our pet that we're going to be using for this build, and that is the Beefcake Jabber. Flax Jabber evolves into a Beefcake discarding his pistol and equipping a shotgun. While accompanied by the Beefcake, Flax gains increased movement speed and max health. When Flak issues an attack command, the Beefcake will summon a melee weapon to deliver a powerful attack that knocks enemies back. The Beefcake Jabber is going to be great because we have that movement speed, so that's going to help us dodge a lot of those projectiles. On top of that, we're getting an extra 10% to our max health, which is going to stack with the extra 30% that we already have. It's going to be a great way to help keep us alive. As you'll see with our action skill, the melee version of the Beefcake Jabber is going to be excellent for really dealing that heavy damage with with that attack command melee weapon to the enemies that we're gonna be sending that jabber at. Coming down into the next line, we get fast in the furriest. While above half health, flax gun damage and movement speed are increased. We should be above half health most of the time. We have a shield that we're gonna be using throughout the course of the game. We have the health regen, we have the large health pool. So with the fast and the furious we're going to be getting that gun damage and that movement speed buff for probably the majority of most fights theoretically speaking gun damage 25 percent which is huge that will allow us to get more kills 
which will then reduce our action skill cooldown time, which will then impact another way that we're gonna stay alive that I'll show you in our next tree. Then we come down all the way to Rage and Recover. It's a kill skill. After killing an enemy, Flack and Flack's pet regenerate health for a few seconds. With the kill skills, not only are we getting the action skill cooldown time reduced, we're also getting even more health regen, which is going to be stacking with all the other health regen, which is gonna be going to all of our teammates, which is just gonna be boosting everyone's survivability because we are going for that immortal build. And the capstone for the stalker tree is the power inside. Flack and Flack's pet gain increased damage when Flack activates an action skill. If Flack is at full health, the increased damage is doubled. The increased damage is 25% just straight up. So we do our action skill, 25% damage, get the kills, which will do the health regen, the kills that will do the action skill cooldown time reduction. Or if we do our action skill at the beginning of most fights, which we will with this setup that we have, we'll get a 50% bonus to our damage. And that's just, that's damage. That's all damage. That's melee strikes, that's gunfire, that's grenades, that's everything. That's not just gun damage. On top of the gun damage boost that we're getting with the extra 25% here. So by activating our action skill pre-fight or with full health, and again, full health, not even full shield, full health, then you'll be getting a 75% gun damage bonus. Plus all the other buffs that we have, including the health regen, including the movement speed, this is gonna be a great way to survive essentially any fight that this game throws at you outside of the most OP boss that you could possibly think of. So then we come over and fill in the rest of our points into the master tree. And the master tree is where we have our skill as well as our augments. So the skill, for those of you that aren't familiar with the gamma burst, flat creates a rift at a target location, teleporting their pet through the rift and dealing radiation damage to nearby enemies. Additionally, Flax pet becomes irradiated, growing in size and dealing bonus radiation damage when it attacks. Using Gamma Burst while Flax pet is downed or dead will revive the pet at the target location with 30% of its health, but will double action skill cooldown time. So this skill has a number of uses. With Gamma Burst, as you can see, we're using the melee version of the Jabber or the shotgun version, let me say, but the attack command is a melee, a melee that does a lot of damage, mind you. So you can rift your Jabber in right behind the enemy or right next to the enemy. You Use the attack command and then just have them light up the enemy with that club and the radiation from the gamma burst will increase the size and the damage of your pet when it's attacking enemies which would be great for giving your pet those kills which will not only lower your cooldown time but also completely reset that action command so you can keep telling your pet to bring out that club and take everyone out with those melee strikes or we can use it for the archetype of this build which is survivability immortality which we'll show you as we get down to these two augments right here but before we get to that i want to talk about persistence hunter it increases flax gun damage and action skill duration this is impacting the action skill that we want to have in order to help keep us alive so the longer that skill can be out the better benefits we're going to get but it also increases the gun damage anytime you can get a boost to gun damage whether it be 12 percent or what have you that is going to be huge because we're also stacking that with the capstone and the other skills that we have from the stalker tree come down to ferocity flax pet deals increased damage so with flax pet dealing increased damage Damage. like we mentioned before we gamma burst them in have them do that attack command and then they're gonna be lighting everybody up because they're getting that 30 percent bonus anytime flax pets gets a kill then that is going to help our action skill cooldown time, which is why we decided to go with the overall damage for our pet. Another one of our survivability buffs is Who Rescued Who. Whenever Flax pet deals damage, Flack regenerates health for a few seconds. Whenever Flack deals damage to an enemy, their pet's health is restored for a portion of the damage dealt. Now, with all the damage bonuses that we've been giving to our pet, not only is it going to help our action skill cooldown time when our pet gets a kill, it is also going to heal us whenever they do damage. The damage our pet is dealing with the buffs that we're giving them to damage, with the gamma radiation that we're giving, and the attack command with the club where they're gonna be running around just beating the hell out of all the psychos and all the other enemies that you're fighting, that is now going to heal you, which is going to be a great way to, again, not die with this flak survivability build. That opens up the next line where we get psycho head on a stick. It's a hunter kill skill. Whenever flak kills an enemy, their pet gains increased movement speed and damage for a few seconds. So again, we're increasing the pet's damage and now their movement speed, which is gonna be great for a melee type shotgun using jabber. And this is only costing us one point for 10% damage, 
and 12% movement speed. We also decided to throw some points into Hive Mind. When Flak takes damage, a portion of all damage they take is shared to their pet instead. So another way for us to survive at the expense of our pet. However, our pet will be getting health regen when we do damage, and our pet will be getting health regen from the All My BFF skill that we decided to unlock on the Stalker Tree. So essentially, it's gonna cancel each other out, but in the end, doing a better job of keeping us alive. We come down to the next line where we get our first augment, but before we talk about about that let's talk about barbaric yop increase the power of pet bonuses granted to flak so all of the pet bonuses that we decided to go from this point are going to be doubled the health regen is going to be doubled all the damage bonuses that we've gone up to this point are going to be doubled this is a great skill for any time that you want to buff your pet or use this master skill tree this is going to be an excellent skill in order to help take your pet and their stats to that next level and then this line as i mentioned before unlocks our first augment which is endurance when flak and flak's pet kills an enemy gamma burst is active the duration of gamma burst is extended and pet damage is increased these effects can stack up to five times so with all the damage buffs that we're giving our pet and even with us just killing an enemy we're going to be able to keep that gamma burst active for even longer meaning our pet is going to be radiated for that much longer every single time we get one of those stacks they're getting 10 percent even more damage allowing them to kill those enemies reset that attack command use that attack command more often get us more health regen because they're doing all that damage this is going to be a great way to keep that gamma burst out there for as long as possible which is also going to keep us alive so after using gamma burst the rift remains for the duration of the skill. While standing near the rift, Flak and their allies rapidly regenerate health. 20% of your max health per second. We have a 40% buff to our max health pool already. We already have all the health regen that we've gone up to this point with our pet doing damage and us just regening ourselves through the self-repairing system and all the other health regen that we've already added to Flak. Now, when we activate the Gamma Burst, not only is our pet getting all these buffs and this damage, which is going to also be healing us, we can stand by this rift and continue to heal on top of that. This really is the essence of an immortal build because once you stack all these health regens, I don't see anything really taking you out that quickly. It's going to take a massive mob or an unreal boss to really put the pressure on Flak if you decide to build this way. Yes, you're foregoing a lot of those awesome damage perks and skills that you'd get in one of the other trees, but with this build, you're playing the endurance game meaning that your enemy is going to die before you do because you have the health regen, because you have the max pool, because you have the damage buffs to your pet that are also going to be healing you and doing everything else. And then on top of that, with all my BFFs, all of the health regen, all being shared to your teammates, that's being shared to your pet, this is going to be a great way to keep your entire team alive. And then if you, let's say, theoretically speaking, you have four Flax that have this exact same build, I don't see any of you guys going to fight for your life. You might be able to get rid of Lick the Wounds because I don't see any of you guys going down with the amount of health regen that you have and we'll be sharing and we'll be stacking and we'll be everything else. Like that would be unreal. I really wanna see a team of four try that out and see how it works. The last skill, another health boosting, immortality, survivability type skill that is going to be excellent for this build is Pack Tactics. All damage dealt by Flak and their pet is increased. Additionally, the maximum health of both Flak and their pet is increased. This is just a straight up damage and health boost that you can put on Flak and their pet. This is going to be a great way for anyone who wants to play a juggernaut Flak or anyone who just wants to run around and just feel like nothing's going to phase them. They can get hit by rockets on rockets, on grenades, on psycho clubs, on giant explosions, and you just want to brush it all off. This is going to be the build for you. Or you can just stand there and absorb all the damage and say, bitch, please because you're not going to be phased with all your health regen with all the max health bonuses that you have i really really like the survivability build for flak something that's going to be very interesting for those of you that like to play tanks and rpgs or class-based games that is flak immortal if you guys enjoyed this video please don't forget to drop a like Comment, tell me what you think about this. Are you gonna go survivability? Are you gonna go pet? Are you gonna go damage when it comes to building out your flak? I wanna know. Let me know how you're gonna do it. Also, don't forget to subscribe and turn on those notifications so you can catch all the future La Muerte Blanca content. I'm going to try to drop as many class videos I can before the game does drop on Friday the 13th. I'm so excited for this game. I cannot wait. It's gonna be awesome. If you want to watch the live stream when we stream the hell out of this game, when it finally does drop, you can catch me on Mixer, Twitch, as well as here on YouTube. All the links can be found in the description below. I'm La Muerte Blanca.
and I'll catch you guys next time.